Hello friends, today we're going to be talking about Dave Brett, who is very obviously some type of New World Order or liberal plant designed to really hurt the Republican Party. We certainly don't see Democrats out there running for people and promoting people named things like Bill Schill or other ridiculous names. So this guy, he was clearly planted. Um, people are saying that he's actually a liberal college professor who just got out of, um, what was it, Randolph-Macon College, which is right next to where I live actually. But um, apparently this guy, he's supposedly going as Tea Party backed. They're, they're not really like gonna actually call him a Tea Party person. So for some reason they give him the bad Republican name and then they call him Tea Party backed. But this really does seem to be just like a huge planting type thing because the guy's name is Brett. And uh, they're just constantly using this in coordination with um, Virginia. So they're like, you know, Senator Brett from Virginia, Brett from Virginia, we're seeing Brett from Virginia, Brett from Virginia, check out this Brett from Virginia. Just constantly, hundreds of thousands of times. And um, of course, the only actual Tea Party backed person who won anywhere in this country was named Brett. The other guy that wasn't named Brett, he didn't win. So without people pointing out that this guy's name is Brett, we're just living in ridiculous land and um, people are hiding the obvious or they're just stupid. They're just super happy they got one single guy. He's actually a Republican and they're calling him Tea Party backed. Like obviously there's some up here and they're like spreading this guy's name all across the country and possibly even the world. Like, oh, the Tea Party Brat guy, he got it. He made it in America, the Brat in America, he got it. So the, <clears throat> the Tea Party's starting to take over. They got one person named Brat. It's pretty obvious what's going on. I'm out here walking the puppies at the river. It's pretty nice out here. Are you guys upset that Obama destroyed our entire country for the New World Order? However, it is still possible that we can make it past all the uh, horrific things he's done to our entire country it's really going to take some type of optimization and um, just legalizing things that should be legal but they've just been outlawed for no reason just to harass the actual people so yeah things are pretty out of control but it can definitely be turned around simply because it's an entirely manufactured event that we're going through like we got the illegals just being pumped up into our country and uh they don't really have anything skills actually i mean they may know how to barely survive down in mexico but now they're going to be in a totally different land and they're just going to be dependent off of this area that's obviously not good and even if they weren't on welfare um, which that's going to be cut off at some point they're going to end up stealing and somehow trying to make it by I mean, they may start working and whatnot, and a lot of these people could be better than many of the normal sheep. So it is kind of a win-lose-win situation. Maybe some people should try to uh, like join with them or somehow help them wake up and try to get them to join the free people's side. That would be a very good idea because you know the New World Order only pays people in promises for the most part. I mean, you may get your teeny checks from the government, but they're going to be cut off at some point. So you really got to start making your own way, find some place with permaculture. This is going to start um, really taking over the economy because of the fact that gas is going to be increasing in price severely. So people need to start actually growing their food where they live and on their property. And a lot of different people in the suburbs and everywhere could have trees or fruit trees all over the place. Like every different school, church should have uh, fruit trees and parks. But definitely every suburban front yard should have a fruit tree. And that could make such a large difference. People don't even realize. But our economy has been totally like mismanaged. And things just got to change. This is Patriot John Adams out here in Richmond, Virginia. Just reminding you about this liberal plant they've brought. Watch out for these ridiculous names. Kind of like the Bergdahl situation. Which um, you all probably noticed that that's almost exactly like the Benghazi word. And it does actually happen to be... Well, Bergdahl sounds almost phonetically identical to one of my cousins, but, uh, you know, that's probably a total conspiracy. Patriot John Adams, signing off.